Right guys, my name's Risa, uh, and you might have seen me knocking about on various Boxing Guru videos, etc. Uh, you may not, if you haven't, follow me, stay tuned. Got a lot of stuff coming up on YouTube, etc. Go on the Boxing Guru YouTube channel, uh, you'll see vlogs, everything else. If you've watched our live shows, you'll see that I do a lot of the commentary and interviews as well. Uh, today, I want to have a quick chat about something I never thought I would say, but one of the most exciting divisions in world boxing at the minute. So, that's the heavyweight division. Um, dead for years, and it's now sort of started to pick up pace again. A um, lot of fighters making a lot of noise. And uh, yeah, let's let's have a quick chat and uh, see if we can spark some debate and piss some of you guys off. So, firstly, um, obviously if we look at the top of the sport, uh, we've just had a massive fight with Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. Absolute barnstormer. Um, some people can say it was boring, but I think the tactics from Fury were perfect. Wilder was chasing him all night, missing with that swinging right hand. Uh, exactly what I thought he would to be honest um, but like I said previous to the fight and a lot of people said can't write off that power that he's got um, and he showed that in the fight and uh, not Fury down twice how Fury got up in that last round I'll never know but he did um, but yeah I mean good fight obviously the rematch has got to come next and that's what the fans want and it's going to make the most sense, really, um, for, for both fighters. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to that one next year. If there's any fight that's going to be made, it's got to be that one. Um, where does Joshua fit in in the equation? Now, Joshua's got three belts. We all know that. Um, the only one he's not got is the WBC. Is he going to beat Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury now? That's another question entirely now. Obviously, Joshua's got that pedigree. He's won an Olympic gold medal. Uh, he's got three titles. And he's fought everybody who he's had to fight to, to get to where he has. Uh, he can only be considered the top dog because of that, basically. Um, he's he's got to be considered the number one in the world, which most people consider him. Now, if Fury wins the Wilder fight, which I personally think he will... Um, especially after he, he's been in with the first fight, I think he can learn from the first fight, whereas I think Wilder's a one-trip pony, in my opinion. And I don't think he's going to learn anything from that first fight and be able to exploit it in the next one. I think Fury's a smarter fighter, and he's going to learn and, and, and adapt. So, would he be looking at Joshua? Um, if Joshua and Fury fought... Um, that would be my dream if I could make any fight in world boxing it would be Fury Joshua at Wembley um, and I'd be getting down there myself I personally think Tyson Fury will box Joshua's head off now and I'm going to piss off a couple of AJ fanboys who you know what I mean Joshua can't do no wrong he's the next Mike Tyson blah blah blah, blah. I'm not saying Joshua isn't a good fighter I'm not saying there won't be some early moments in there and it won't be a competitive fight at times but I just think he's not going to be able to deal with a fighter as awkward as Fiora as big as Fiora and, and who can move like Fiora he's not going to be able to do it in my opinion um, so I would go for a Fury win on that one but let me know what you think uh, I know there's a lot of people going to disagree with me comment down below and uh, let me know what your thoughts are on that result um, and then we go down the pecking order a little bit We've got a big fight coming up on the 22nd of December, uh, Dillian White and Derek Chisora. Now, Dillian White's been in that mandatory spot uh, for the WBC for a long time now. He's fought everybody who's come his way and he's come out on top and I really do feel for Dillian because um, he does deserve that shot. But if he gets past Chisora, fingers crossed he'll be looking at that Joshua fight in April at Wembley which to be honest judging off the first fight as well I am looking forward to um, so that will be a good fight um, down the list you've got your Trezoras I mean where does Trezora go once well I believe White will beat him but when if White beats him where does Trezora go after that um, I think a fight with Joe Joyce would be good I think a fight with yeah. Jarrell Big Baby Miller would be good. Um, these are the, the other guys knocking around the sort of scene and and on the fringes of, of the sort of, of the world level. Um, Joe Joyce not so much. 
obviously he's, he's a he's very inexperienced when it comes to the professional game. But if you look at his amateur experience, um, you can't you, can, you can't knock it. Olympic silver medalist, um, fought plenty of times in the World Series of Boxing, um, got beat on points by Usyk in the World Series of Boxing. Um, so obviously he's he's been there with some of the biggest names in the sport on an amateur level. Um, and obviously he, he's in a bit of a rush now, he's no spring chicken, he's 30 plonk and obviously he wants to make waves and make his move in the heavyweight decision now, uh, division now, fair play to him. Uh, if anybody doesn't know who George Joyce is from the American side of things, he reminds me of, now I'm not saying he's George Foreman, I'm not saying that, but the way he fights, he's just a juggernaut, he just marches forward. Um, chin like granite and he just got very very heavy hands he's strong as an ox um, so that's the sort of style Joe Joyce is match Joe Joyce with Jarrell Big Baby Miller who doesn't take a step back either and is a banger and I think we'd be in for fireworks so personally the way I'd like to see it go uh, over the course of next year once we've got White Trezor out of the way is if Trezor gets beat like I think he will I think Joe Joyce and Trezor is the next logical step. Uh, I then think if Joe Joyce gets past Trezor, then he fights Big Baby Miller. And the winner in that fights Dillian White. And then we can start talking about Joshua, etc. Because at the, at the time being, you've got Big Baby Miller making noise. He's he's not earned the right to, 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 to fight Joshua. Let's be honest, he's beat an old Thomas Adamek. Uh, he's beat an old Dua Pass. I mean, they're all, they're all knocking on Forte. Um, and yeah, I just don't just don't think he deserves that title shot um, at this moment in time. Uh, when you're looking at on the UK domestic scene, for all the UK fans there, um, Nathan Gorman, really good fighter. Um, very, very quick hands. I think looks, when people say looks are deceiving, if you look at Nathan Gorman and you see quite a podgy kid like he looks like a nice lad as well he's he, he's really polite really smart gets in that ring he's got, he's got quick hands and, and he hits with intention as well um so yeah slick fighter really like uh, nathan gorman uh, and then we've got daniel dubois as well um uh, daniel dubois very much a baby yet um so i think he won't he won't go in with the likes of gorman as of yet but as we go down the line um i would like to see them two sort of squared off um, that would be a really good British dust up which I'd look forward to um, maybe one of them wants to fight the likes of a David Price next year um, to sort of test themselves and see how they stand up and uh, like I said David Price is a good British name former Olympian and it'd be a good test for anyone uh, at world level everywhere to give Povetkin problems um, for a brief period and he can't give anyone problems I mean he's an absolute physical specimen and he can bang so, yeah, that's my thoughts on the heavyweight division. Uh, I'm nearing on nine minutes now. I've been talking for, and I could just talk for ages. Um, but comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, am I wrong in what I'm saying? If you think I am, be nice. But comment down below and uh, be respectful. Um, and, yeah, let's have a debate about it. Um, if you like boxing debates, um, you like to get stuck in in this sort of thing, uh, make sure you keep your eyes peeled for BoxingGuru.com, which is our new website which is going live. Uh, we're going to have a live members forum on there uh, for members. It's going to be £5 per month. We'll do monthly giveaways of prizes worth up to £500. And as well as that, you get members access to the forum as well. Uh, any of you budding aspiring sports writers, or if you're just really into your boxing and you like to have the bets, uh, get in touch. Uh, give us a DM on the uh, Boxing Guru Insta account, and uh, yeah, we could try and work something out because we're after a couple of uh, admins to sort of get on the forum and uh, and, and, sp and spark some deb debates amongst uh, all of the members. Um, so if you're a casual, don't bother with uh, the forum because it's going to be for, for our core boxing fans only. So please, if you don't know what you're talking about, don't sign up. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, follow us on YouTube. Like I said, we're still, we've just come live on that uh, past few days. So follow us on YouTube. And apart from that, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys.